Hey guys, so today I'm here with the hands-on of Windows 8. Uh, now, I've been looking forward to checking out Windows 8 for a long time, and I finally, of course, do have it now. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a quick hands-on and my first impressions. Uh, now, I do want to mention before we get started, I am using a standard computer with a mouse and keyboard, so a lot of this stuff is uh, you know made for touch. But go ahead and give you guys a little bit of a view of it just from my point of view with you know just using a mouse and keyboard. Uh, so some of the, you know, of course, this is the Metro UI, and some of the ways you can control it is you can use your... Uh, right and up and down arrows to kind of tab between these so if I want to open up something. You can also use the mouse wheel to scroll which uh, seems to run pretty nicely. I am running it inside VirtualBox right now so the performance is not quite up to par with what it will probably be on normal computers. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at a couple things. So to start with, let's open up the control panel. Uh, now as you guys can see, this is a very different interface than you know what you would typically find in Windows. It's very nice, very styled like Windows 7. Uh, so there are a lot of different things, for example, I can turn on and off wireless, which I don't actually have wireless in this, but now nah, it's okay. I can do notifications. And one of the cool things is notifications have been redesigned in Windows, and I'll see if I can maybe get something uh, to show you guys that. Uh, of course, I do want to keep this fairly brief, so you can just see all the more settings and all that kind of stuff. Now I'll go ahead and hit the Windows key, which will back us up to back over here. All right, so now if we want, we can take a look at a couple other things. For, so, for example, let's take a look at, oh, say, uh, stocks. We're always looking to see what's going on with the stocks. Uh, so you can see here, very colorful, very, very nice-looking interface. Uh, now, as you guys can see here um, on the bottom, we have a little scroll bar. So no matter like even if it's you know huge or whatever, instead of having to you know scroll normally with you know some big giant bars, it's kind of a little bit small. It's out of the way, and of course we can scroll through here and take a look at whatever we want. So let's hit the home button to back up and scroll along here and see what else kind of we want to jump into. So how about note space? So we can open this up. You guys see here's got this very nice little animations and stuff. So we can go ahead bring up the app bar and all that kind of good stuff. If we want to type in here, we can just, you know, type whatever we want. Hit the home button to back right out. Now, of course, this is all fine and good. However, a lot of people, myself included, do like the old Windows uh, uh, old Windows uh, interface. So if you want to do that, all you have to do is click this desktop button, and bam, we're right back to a standard kind of Windows 8 com uh, you know, experience. So if you want to open up, you know, the standard uh, Windows Explorer, we can go through our documents, and which, of course, I don't have any, but uh, it looks very similar. However, you probably notice one major difference with it, which is that it has this kind of uh, ribbon-style interface from you know, Microsoft Word. Um, I haven't used it long enough to really have a good opinion of it. I never really had a major problem with this, but it's just fine. If I go ahead and take this, it still works just like Windows 7. I can resize the windows and do whatever I want. Uh, so guys, that's going to be about it. Of course, you do have your full you know, interface if you want to use it like this, or if you want to go ahead and come down here. There are a couple of things, for example, we can go to settings or search, whatever. So let's just open up the settings really quickly here. And you can see here some of the uh, some of the newer kind of style does bleed over. So for example, we can go, you know, turn it off, turn on and off notifications and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, guys, it's going to be my quick first hands-on of Windows 8. If you guys enjoyed, definitely be sure to leave a thumbs up. And if you're interested in more videos, be sure to subscribe. I'm going to be posting a lot more Windows 8 content in the coming days.